day after day Love turns grey Like the skin on a dying man And night after night We pretend it's alright But I have grown older And you have grown colder And nothing is very much fun anymore and I can feel one of all my twins coming home Lars von Schreer's 1991 film Europa is the director's first masterpiece one of the greatest art films of the 1990s Set in 1945 Germany, the film follows Leopold Kessler, played by Lars von Trier favorite John Mark Barr. After he lands a job as a sleeper train conductor and falls into a web of corruption after he meets the love interest Catharnia. The film is accompanied by a haunting narration from Max von Sydow, giving the already dreamlike film a feverish edge. This is, without a doubt, von Trier's most experimental film, the Europa Trilogy, with stylistic highlights which are lambasted by a few critics. However, I find them utterly commendable and reassuring that there are still a few influential filmmakers left with the balls to challenge their audience with such arresting images, especially the ones which feature the characters juxtaposed against the projected background. Though the movie is mostly filmed in stunning fine-grained black and white 35mm, some characters are given the color treatment when there's something particularly intense or, for lack of a better word, human going on. This was an audacious choice on Von Trier's part and undoubtedly confused audiences and critics at the time of the release. The film is often labeled as a political thriller, but in my opinion, the script is far and away from the cold and calculating nature of such a film. Rather, it is a hallucinatory drama, with elements of, of morality play, with Leopold caught between the shady motivations of several organizations, the member of one of these organizations eventually revealed to be his girlfriend, who wished to use him as a pawn. The film's setting is desolate and broken, which is to be expected of post-war Germany and weaves an intense atmosphere throughout the story. Werewolves, who are left over Nazis and Nazi sympathizers, give Leopold and his train crew grief and are the main source of the film's rare but shocking violence, with the exception of an appalling and graphic suicide. Europa is an intense and bleak film with incredible cinematography, an intriguing plot, adequate performances, and commendably experimental elements. This is a film which cemented Lars von Trier as a force to be reckoned with and is an indisputable masterpiece.